What's up, YouTube? Back at it with the part two of the comparison between the Chinese fake, the authentic retail store bot, and the game worn authentic jersey off of a player's back. Now, I waited till I got my new one here because I wanted to specifically compare a game worn number one to the retail number one and show you how the kiss cuts are different, as you can see right off the bat. How the gray is single stitched on the bottom and has a black single stitched on the top as well in the middle as there's a little bit of space there of the gray left out as to where the game worn is one big double sized single stitch I definitely think it is double stitched but it's going the whole entire gray is stitched as to where this is multiple. But other than that, the retail and the game worn authentic are about as close as you can get. The material is exactly the same, it's just lighter, thinner, thicker. You can just feel it. But other than that, they are the same exact material, same color, same size bird logo. Same with the Nike. As you can see. Then come into the Chinese retail, of course. It's more Reebok styled with the white on top, gray in the middle, black on the bottom. This is, of course, nowhere near the quality of the retail or the game worn kiss cut with the mesh over you can see the chain mail on both the retail and game worn and I put this on here myself if you watch the part one you will notice that this isn't on here uh, get into the logo of course the retail on more of the Chinese style is more like the Reebok as you can see the retail and game worn don't have the twill in there, the twill is completely stitched, all sewn, as to where this is the twill, and it's stitched over it. Getting to the back, nameplate, Reebok style. As you can see, the game worn and the retail authentic again, basically the same exact style. And that's basically what we went over in the first video. The kiss cut, I mean, excuse me, the Y line. How it more or less bends because of the stitching on the side that connects the jersey to the front. It bends it more or less because it's more or less on the side as to where the game worn has it more or less on the back, keeping the Y line straight. But I'm gonna get into trying them on. I didn't have time to do it in the last video. I'm going to try them on, show you the difference between the game worn, retail, and fake. Show you how they look when they're being worn, the differences and how they feel. Uh, I did want to say, if you can't afford the retail, get it. If you find the right person, you might be able to find a game worn authentic jersey. Maybe $50 to $100 more than the retail. And honestly, if you're that big of a fan, go for the game worn. Because... The quality is almost identical, but having it off of a player's back, knowing that it was worn during a game, the extra detail and authenticity of it on how thicker it is, stretchier, how more fit it is, back to the tags, how it has the year that it was worn, size, the style it's cut, the extra length, and of course the game worn. And the retail. The retail only has a size on field. It doesn't have the year, extra size. Same goes for the Chinese retail. They copy the retail. But yeah, I'm going to try them on and show you the difference. 
getting into it. But also, if you if you can't get the game, if you can't get the retail, go with the go with the Chinese jersey. That's not bad. Honestly, if you if you just want to wear a jersey to rep your team, get a, get the game war. I mean, get the the Chinese fake. It's only twenty dollars. You can't go wrong with it. I when I go to the games, whenever the heck we are going to be able to even do that again. I wear the, the fake one because I know I'm going to get it dirty. I know there's going to get stuff on it. And I'm not going to wear a game-worn jersey to a game and get beer or sauce on it. It's just not worth it. But if you can afford the retail, go with the retail. If you can just pay the extra and get the game-worn, go for the game-worn. And if you can't get both of them, go with the Chinese fake. Either way, if you get one of these jerseys, you're not going to lose out. You're, you're still going to get your money's worth out of whichever one you get. But alright, getting into the, the try-on point now. Here we go. Get into the China fake first. You can see the sleeves, how they were cut shorter from how the Elite 51 went to. They have, they put the rubber, the, not rubber band, but they put the elastic band on there so it has more of a stretch fit to it. Of course, you can see how small the logo is, how much longer the sleeves are compared to the retail. You'll see that in a second. <clears throat> and how what I meant when I meant how they uh, connect the front and the back with the stitching being on the side connected to the Y line. How it bends it and makes it more wide to have that extra space and how it's loose. But it's very comfortable. Like I said, if you're if you can only afford the Chinese jersey, that's no knock because hell, I got one. I got a bunch of them, and they do the job. I feel comfortable repping my team in this gear. Definitely worth the price. You cannot beat the price. This for 20 bucks, especially compared to the retail and how close they look. You can't beat that. But this is a Chinese fake. About to show you what the retail look like. Getting to the retail authentic. You can instantly see the difference in the color. The material is a lot tighter, even though it is loose, exactly like the China jersey when I was telling you with the sides and how they connect to the wide line in the back, you can see on how it floats out a lot, especially the black one that I have of the same style. If I was to put that one on, you'd see on how it basically sticks out like I'm fat because of the sides and the wide line bending it. It's very, it's, it's loose. With the Y-Line and everything, and the Vapor Intouchable, it's a very tight fit. So when you have it in a loose style jersey, it just looks weird. Now, as you can see with the, the, the sleeves right off of the bat on how they're smaller, they do have the rubber elastic there to give it that tighter feel. But still, this is more or less like the way that Carson Wentz wears his jerseys. He doesn't have the linebacker cut or the QB style where it's tight. It's more or less exactly kind of like these sleeves. I don't even know what you call them. I guess you could call them quarterback cut. But this is what the retail looks like being worn. Definitely worth the pickup, I think. I got this one for a steal, actually. I didn't pay the whole $350 for it. And I think it's a beautiful jersey. Definitely worth the pickup. Now getting to the game worn. All right, getting down to the final the game worn jersey. This one's obviously my favorite, and you're going to be able to tell the differences right off the bat. One, how tight it is. Like I was telling you, how the side stitching that connects the front and the back is more or less towards the back, keeping the Y line straight and not having to be able to bend it on the sides. It's not going to blow it out because these are tight. And not as in tight as in uncomfortable or restrictive. It's comfortable. It feels like an extra layer of skin almost on me, but not too tight to where, I, like I said, it's restricting. Always has that cool look. You can tell with the sleeves how they're cut. Same logo, same style though. You're just you're paying for more of the authenticity of it just being from a game. This was actually worn during the Minnesota Vikings game for the Philadelphia Nelson Aguilar jersey. There ain't nothing like a game worn jersey. I'm telling you, the comfort of it, just the way it feels. Knowing how authentic it is, knowing that it was used during the game, paying that extra little bit, I'm telling you, it's so much worth it. But this is how the game warns look being worn. 
compare it to the retail and Chinese fake. All right, and that's the end of part two. I just wanted to get into the try-on, show you a little bit, do a little summary over what I did. Please, if you like the video, give it a like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below what one you would rather go with, the authentic game-worn, the authentic retail, or the fake. If you have any game-worn jerseys, let me know what kind you have down below. If you have your own collections, like I said, let me down below, and I'll see you next time.